the measurement, uh, sorry, the process OI, it gives you a zero volt, zero to 10 volt in and out um, for one region of interest. The software itself will do over 256 regions of interest. But for the camera, as it is right there, you can only assign one regions of interest. That could be a maximum, a minimum, an average. The input, I'll explain on the next slide. The measurement itself, you've got um, adjustable spot sizes. You can um, put a hot spot detection. You can put in ellipse. You can put in rectangular regions of interest. All of which can measure maximum, minimum, and average values. We also have a, temp a temperature profile option. So if you're looking across the conveyor belt, you could see the uh, temperature across that belt. And color palettes. Everyone's eye is different. Every process is different. Um, so we have a big range of color palettes to optimize the viewing of the image. Field of view calculator. Scott highlighted this earlier in one of his earlier presentations. Um, this one is specific to the camera. At the moment, it's, a, it's in millimeters and meters. I will actually do that one live. Uh, where would it go? There it is. This is on the CD. You've got uh, the software, you've got the manuals, you have this field of view calculator too. Basically, for, to use the field of view calculator, you would first select the lens that you have in the camera. Standard lens is our 23 degree. And then you would have to enter the distance from the object. So I'm going to put in five, and I'm going to say I'm five meters. Now that gives you the ability to show what the um, width is and the height of the uh, field of view. And also the pixel size, the actual size of one individual pixel plus the size of a three by three pixel, because these are both options within the software as far as a region of interest. So as I explained, that comes with the disk that everyone's got in there. OK, the PIF, this is the process interface. Uh, the only available analog output, this is directly from the camera itself, 0 to 10. And it, you can set a region of interest, uh, the analog. You can set an alarm through that 0 to 10. You can, you can set an alarm threshold. So when you set a threshold, Yeah, you would assign the 0 to 10 based on a temperature range. And so that's what that's how you would configure the alarm. Okay. So that's analog. It's yes, it's analog. analog. It's an alarm event in the software right. that is then triggered through that zero to ten. Out of the instrument? Yes. Excuse my uh, ability to answer it. It's just my knowledge of the analog output is not as extensive. <laughs> the PIF in, yet again, uses the 0 to 10. We can trigger a snapshot. That's an image from the camera itself that's running on a computer. We can also activate a sequence of video. Um, so if you had an alarm event, uh, you could um, no, let me rephrase that. If you had a kiln, for instance, you could um, send in a proximity switch signal that basically starts an image which starts the rotation of the image of the actual kiln itself. So you could actually get a full video of a complete rotation 